Hello isopod fans and welcome to another episode of the isopod vlog. We all know why we keep isopods. Because they're a great cleanup crew at a vivarium. They make a great pet because of their collectability. They're different colors, they're different sizes, they're different shapes. They can make a great feeder. I personally use them to feed geckos. And there's several other good reasons to keep isopods. But some isopods rise to the cream of the crop because of certain attributes, such as size, color, either easy or hard to breed, either being easy or hard to keep, or they just have a name for themselves. Today we're going to look at a very, very different isopod, one that you really don't see a lot of information on, and I'll tell you why I keep this isopod. And as a bonus today, we have a gift to open. So make sure that you stick around. We'll be right back. The Isopod Vlog I recently received a package from Joshua, from Jabberworks, from Etsy. I want to thank Joshua for this package. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, I have a real nice cut here. Let's go ahead and open the package. Again, this is from Joshua of Jabberworks from Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description and you can take a look at their store. And since this is an isopod video, I'm sure it's going to be something to do with isopods. I want to be very, very careful with this opening. Oh, very cool. I've got a couple of really, really cool stickers here. I've been thinking about adding some stickers downstairs to some of the uh, isopod bins. Anyone know what this is? Let's see if I can get a good picture of this. I'll show the darker one again. If you know what this isopod is, go ahead and leave a comment in the, the comments below. Very cool. Thank you for the uh, addition, uh, Joshua. Let's take a look at this. these two shirts, I should say. Hi, some more stickers. Thank you again very much. I'm not sure which one to look at first, but let's grab this one. Two very, very nice t-shirts here. Again, an isopod from the sticker. And let's take a look at this one. I need a, an isopod shirt for the isopod vlog so I don't have to wear the Supreme Gecko shirt anymore. Hope you can see this. Really cool rubber ducky. Thank you again, Joshua from Jabberworks from the Etsy store. I really appreciate your support. Speaking of support, I'd like to thank also Jesse McCoy, again from Isopods of Eden, for the really cool buttons. Just a quick note, I really appreciate our supporters. It helps us run the isopod vlog and I hope everybody enjoys that. If you're a vendor or a breeder and you want to send something over to the isopod vlog, just let me know and we'll make sure that we get it on a video to promote your business. And now on to the main video, but let me change my shirt first to one of these great isopod shirts. Be right back. We're back. New shirt. Thank you again, Joshua from Jabberworks. From the Etsy store, I've got my button on from Jesse McCoy from Isopods of Eden. And it says, I have pet zebras. So let's go ahead and talk about isopods. I did a video a couple of weeks ago about one of my favorites, Armadillidium maculatum, the zebra isopods. And I think that that one's a, a favorite of a lot of people. Again, there's many attributes that drive us to keeping one isopod over another. I know the hot isopod right now is the rubber ducky, and the colors on this animal are just beautiful. One of my favorites is Porcelio bolivari, and the colors on that isopod are just fantastic. No one can question the size of a, a Porcelio Hoffman Segei. But one isopod that I really think is being underkept is the Florida Fast. The name is Atlantosha Floridana, the Florida Fast. So with a name like Florida Fast, can anybody guess what the attribute is on this isopod that makes it so interesting to keep? If you know, go ahead and throw a comment below. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a video of these guys. Let's talk about this setup for just a second. It's pretty basic. I have the left end has the moist area, and it's about probably half of the uh, container. 
The right side is the dry area. Whenever I mist, I mist the whole enclosure, especially the sphagnum moss. These isopods come mostly from Florida, so they like a lot of humidity, a lot of humidity. For ventilation, you can see that I have two holes here, one on the right side and one over here on the left side. The top, I'll go ahead and throw that back on real quick. The top has two holes as well. So there's plenty of ventilation, especially cross ventilation. But again, I try to miss this thing at least every other day just to keep that humidity factor up. This isopod is a very, very, very fast breeder. I think I started with about 15 about a year ago, and I probably have, and I've sold so many groups of these, but I probably have around a couple thousand already in this container and another container. Let's go ahead and take a peek at these isopods and be ready because they are extremely fast. Again, you can see that there's a moist area here. You can see that there's a dry area, but you, you can just see tons and tons and tons of babies in this container. Let me go ahead and put these two pieces of wood down. You can just see how quickly they scatter here. I'm going to lift up this uh, other piece of cork bark and you'll see how quick these animals are. I'm going to see if I can get a little closer of a view here. Let's take a look at that fourth piece of cork bark. And they're gone. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some of our special food. It's the food that we're uh, making here at, at uh, Supreme Gecko. And as there's so many isopods in here, I'm going to throw in a good sampling of this food. After the video, I'll go ahead and moisten the uh, entire enclosure. I'll throw some leaves in here too. They like leaves. It looks like they're just crushing these leaves right now. I like to also feed them some vegetables, some fruits. Vegetables can be any non-watery vegetable, such as uh, butternut squash, zucchini, cucumbers, and uh, red peppers as well. I'll throw in a couple of pinches of the uh, crushed eggshells for calcium. They really, really go through the calcium quickly, but those crushed eggshells just work so perfectly. What do you think? Should we get a, one more view of these isopods before we leave? Let's see how quickly they'll take off here. They remind me of a couple of cartoons that I used to watch when I was a kid. Let's take one more check of these guys. Look how quick they are. They are just amazing. Again, I think these Florida Fasts are one of my favorite isopods. If you're not keeping them, I think you should consider it. Thank you for joining me in another isopod vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again, Joshua from Jabberworks from the Etsy store. Really, really, really appreciate these isopod shirts. Thanks, Jesse, for the uh, buttons again. Thank you, isopod fans. If you'd like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss another episode of the isopod vlog. Thank you again, everybody, for watching.